Okay, so to wrap it up today, we have a, a speaker that uh, I know well because he worked in my laboratory as a student. Uh, Chung Ho Cha is uh, now the global head of translational uh, medicine and neuroscience at Novartis Institute of Biomedical Research. And he got involved with Huntington's uh, early on because Nancy invited him to come down to Venezuela. And he learned so much there uh, from a lot of different angles, but he kept coming down and he has been dedicated to Huntington's research, and it's so nice to have somebody like that at Novartis who is interested. So, Chung Ho Cha. Thanks. Uh, <clears throat> talk about a hard act to follow. It's my dream to follow up Francis Collins and Sarah Tabrizi. It makes it really super easy. Uh, <laughs> I will let you know that I was a key member of the Venezuela team. I had to lift heavy things. I packed the lunches. I drove the cars. <laughs> I don't know that that project could have gone on without me. It's, it's amazing. Um, I, I am at Novartis. Uh, these views are, are my own. And um, uh, it, it, is, it is well and right to commemorate 50 years of the HDF. It's truly amazing for the reasons you've heard. I'm going to shift gears a little bit for something that's been on my mind, and that's this. <laughs> this is me too, right? So coming out on the, the revelations of the Harvey Weinstein allegations of sexual harassment, uh, it's been pervasive in uh, Hollywood, in the media, and we would be naive to think that it doesn't happen in science as well. And I, for one, have just been overwhelmed uh, by the number of people who are, a number of women especially, who are making this their hashtag on social media. Me too. And, um, uh, you know, I just thought about that. And, you know, I'm not really here to talk about Harvey Weinstein, Roger Ailes, Michael Oreskes, Donald Trump, George H.W. Bush, <laughs> Bill Cosby, Kevin Spacey, Mark Halpern, John Besh, Robert Scoble, James Toback, Ben Affleck, Roy Price, Chris Savino, Jeremy Piven, <laughs> Brett Ratner, Dustin Hoffman, Andy Dick, Bill O'Reilly. Uh, this is not a new phenomenon. I think it's just recently come into the view, and it's, it's like an iceberg that's always been there. We're just coming to the realization of how massive this is. And it makes me think a lot about the world I grew up in, um, the scientific world, where I worked uh, with uh, female mentors and my scientific development was at the hands of uh, female mentors. And I thought about, you know, what the HDF has meant. And I think there are some lessons we can draw. The first is leadership, okay? Here's pictures of my pals, Alice Wexler, whose writings about uh, um, the anarchists uh, and social justice. As I get older and more irritable, I become, find myself becoming more of an anarchist and I want to smash the patriarchy. Uh, but Alice has written uh, very intelligently and um, compellingly about Huntington's disease and Huntington's disease scientists. We have my mentor, Anne, uh, who is a rock star in her own right, um, the first chairman of a department at Harvard Medical School, the first female chair of the uh, Department of Neurology, the first person to be the president of the Society for Neuroscience, the first person to be also, and the president of the ANA, American Neurological Association. So that's a triple-double that, that is rarely accomplished. And Nancy, uh, who gave me all the worst jobs to do in Venezuela, <laughs> but taught me how um, science was done and really ushered me into a fellowship of the most esteemed and the best colleagues and taught me how science was done and with her ability to um, inspire and collaborate um, and to bring out the best in scientists is really nothing short of spectacular. There are many scientists in this room as I look around who know what I'm talking about. So I think, um, um, you know, it, it's not lost that, um, that the HDF has been run by women. HDSA was started by Marjorie Guthrie, 
the past uh, CEOs of HDSA have been women. Um, HD is a field which is actually dominated by women, and I think we're probably the better for it. Um, if you look at, um, we've just heard a stunning presentation from my pal, Sarah Tabrizi, who is a rock star. But if you look at the other uh, Leslie Gary Brenner winners, um, and I did this, right? So there's David, there's Jill, there's Leslie, they're all pals of mine, William, <laughs> Bev, and like there's some dudes in there, right? But if you, look at, if you look at who's moving the science in this field that I know the best, it has been the women. And I'm proud to call all these women my colleagues and mentors. Um, but it goes beyond that. So I have the privilege and uh, owner's duty of being on the scientific advisory board where we look at the research grants and we uh, support many of the research uh, grant holders are actually in the room tonight. Um, Okay, there are some dudes, right? There, you can barely see them. <laughs> okay, but this is what's happening, right? And I can tell you that the women are not getting extra points in their grant scoring because they're women, okay? The SAB is rewarding the best science. Where's the best science, okay? This is where it is. So one of the best ways is to reward the science. Look for the talent. Okay, there are some dudes and they're not bad dudes, but um, there, there are basically more women there and, and you could do this at, uh, for any year of the HDF grant funding. And I tell you, this grant funding is so instrumental in getting um, young scientists committed to this field and they get stuck with it like I have for the rest of their lives. So um, since, uh, since I'm a dude, <laughs> I'm gonna explain this whole thing for you, right? So. Uh, some of you might not know this term mansplaining, um, but it's to explain something uh, characteristically by a man to a woman in a manner regarded as condescending or patronizing. But I think we could do some mansplaining and maybe the targets here are not the women, but maybe the men in the room, right? And some lessons that I've just been able to observe, right, from the HDF. Um, have women lead, right? I think things just go better, right? <laughs> Choose the best science, okay? The HDF is not an affirmative action program. It is the best science program, all right? Um, don't sexually harass anyone, okay? Note to self. And get out of the way. And I'll end there, thanks. <laughs>